here to do a haul today. I know video in the middle of the week. I'm trying to step it up to two videos a week. I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming this month, so you'll want to stay tuned. MAC recently came out with their Fashion Flower collection, which was a really fun collection for spring, and I really liked a lot of those items, but I couldn't get to a MAC store for the opening, and I know they'd be sold out of everything I want by the time I actually get to one. So I ordered from MAC online for the first time, and that was an interesting experience. It actually went pretty well. I wasn't really sure, but I got my things within a week, and nothing was sold out that I wanted, but I did only get two things. I got two eyeshadows. The first one is ground cover, but it is a matte, and these eyeshadows have a cool flower imprint on them. Here's the color. It's like a brownish gray, just a really great neutral, a really great crease color transition color. I also got Lucky Green, which is in the permanent line and it is a Velux Pearl finish. It's this really awesome green. It's a fairly light green color, but it has this really cool gold sheen to it, and it's a really unique color, a really great color for spray. Here is Lucky Green. It's like a grass green color with like a gold sheen to it. I have both of those on right now, so get a little bit closer so you can see. But I think this is a really fun look. I love the way these two shadows work together and the way they look together on my eyes. It gives a really great neutral look with a pop of color that's great for spring. Also with these two shadows, I really love wearing Humid, which I've had since my very first MAC purchase. But it's this really pretty dark green and I think looks really great in the outer corner with these two colors. So here's these two greens together. You can kind of see how they're in the same color family and how they would really work well together. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on this eye look because I think it's so versatile and can be worn by pretty much anyone with any eye color for a lot of different occasions. While I'm here doing a haul video, I'll talk about a couple drugstore things that I've purchased. One is this CoverGirl lipstick. And I've seen a bunch of people on here talk about these lipsticks that are packaged like this. I got mine in 415 Siren. It's this kind of vibrant pink color. And when I saw it in the store, I thought it looked pretty. But on me, it kind of makes me look like a streetwalker. I did want to wear it for this video, so I put it on really lightly and then put a lip gloss over it. I put this Too Faced Glamour Gloss in Pillow Talk, which is just like a nude color. I put that on over it to make it look a little bit more wearable and so I look a little bit less like a streetwalker. Also, just today, I picked up this... Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara, and it is in black. And the wand looks like this. It's fairly small and has these like three bumps on it. And again, I'm wearing all these things today. I'm wearing this on my lashes today. It claims to be a full volume and curve mascara. And after a couple coats, I did see a little bit of thickening happening. But you guys know I like mascaras that are more of like a gel consistent than really wet and this is a really wet mascara and it has those rubbery plasticky bristles that I really don't like. If my opinion changes on any of these items, if I grow to love or hate any of them, you'll be sure to see them in a future faves video or maybe a future fail video. So let me know your recent hauls, if you've gotten any of these items and what you think of them. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!